Europa. Hey friends, in this video, we are going to unbox and review one of the most cheapest 2.1 multimedia system. So let's move in. So hey friends, as you can see, this is the box of the Corio KHT 4212FB. This is a 2.1 multimedia speaker. First, we are going to read what's written on the box and then we are going to move inside the box and see what's there. And first, you can see it's written super bass. It comes with a 4200 watt PMPO. And this is a plug and play device. Like you have a cord, it doesn't have an inbuilt battery inside the speaker. And you can see easy to connect with TV, computer, DVD players play via aux or bluetooth you have two options over here digital led display over here somewhere we are going to check it out with fm radio also and you get a remote also as you can see on this side some more information about the speaker given on this side which i'm going to explain to you and the same thing is written on the other side so now let's move inside the box so as you can see you have to cut open this seal like this side also on the side also the same thing wait let me open it from yeah so this is how it opens up so as you can see over here so first thing you can see are these two speakers no this is your user manual first you see this one then you see your Two speakers over here small speakers this is the second one and the wiring for the speakers the remote and you also get the batteries also for the remote inside the box these are the triple a batteries yeah these are the triple a batteries as you can see let me focus on it a bit yeah so these are the triple a batteries and these are your cords for the speaker so let's keep this side and as you can see under that thermocol part you can see this is your sub so this might be heavy so i have to open it like this wait so this is a bit heavy as this is a subwoofer this is very heavy so let me just see what's there so there is nothing else inside the box so let's keep the box aside so friends till that i may clean up all this mess we can move to the review of this product so hey friends, this is the Corio 2.1 multimedia system out of the box and first we're going to talk about the build quality and design of the speaker. Firstly, let me tell you that I have never unboxed such thing on my channel till now. This is not a portable Bluetooth speaker. This is a Bluetooth speaker, but this is a home theater which will connect to your television or you want it for a party, big party or something. This is actually for those people who want a hi-fi music system in a portable size and in a budget so let's continue to the build quality and design of these speakers as you can see over here you get three speakers uh, inside this system as this is a home theater kind of a speaker you get two speakers over here which are these small ones and this is the subwoofer in the center you can see the subwoofer has this glossy finish in the front and that black matte color at the back this speaker is made out of plastic hole the three speakers are properly made out of plastic the quality of the plastic feels very top notch they don't feel rough at all they are very soft plastic which feels very high quality and premium and as you can see over here you get this gloss black in the front which gives you this mirror kind of a finish like you can see my hand reflecting on that color you can see that color makes the speaker look more premium but there are some drawbacks of that color like this color will get scratched up very easily you have to clean this color every time you're going to listen to music because this color will show you all the dust particles onto it which this matte color will never show you when we talk about both these speakers these speakers are also very high quality as you can see they have the same shell like on the subwoofer the plastic shell used they are not that heavy the subwoofer is very heavy and the front part of this speaker like you get the choreo branding over here the whole thing is made out of fabric it's wrapped in fabric actually you get this white strip in the center on all three of these speakers which make the speaker look good because of that white and black kind of a contrast and as you can see 
these are wired kind of a thing they are not wireless so you have to connect both these speakers to the back of this speaker like let me show you the end of one of these speakers so as you can see this is how you plug it in to the back of the subwoofer if you want to listen to music so the build quality wise these speakers are too good in my opinion for the price point you are getting these speakers they are very top notch they feel very high quality they don't have any kind of issues when it comes to build quality nothing rattles on all three of these speakers and when we talk about the designs the designs are very typical home theaterish because most of the multimedia speakers the 2.1 speakers in this market will give you the same design and this is a very typical design and nothing has been changed in that kind of a sense like you can see this is a red triangular all these three speakers are red triangular this is a squarish kind of a speaker and you can see there are curves on these all three speakers they don't have that pointed edges onto it which makes them look stylish now we are going to move to the features of this speaker so features wise this speaker gets all the bells and whistles like your portable speaker gets like it has many kinds of connectivity options like this has a sd card slot on top of it let me show you so this is the sd card slot this is the usb port and you can connect to aux also the cables which were provided in the box which i have said that were for the speakers but no that was not for the speakers that was the aux cable like this is the rca to auxiliary cable and i don't know why this is there inside the box because you can see over here one has this yellow colored pin and one has this open pin like it's under this tape if anyone knows what this cable does let me know in the comment down below so friends you can connect to aux also usb also and sd cards also from this speaker if you want to listen to music you can listen through bluetooth also you get latest bluetooth inside the speaker you can listen to fm also through the speaker and the downside in my opinion like it's not a downside but i haven't reviewed this kind of a speaker like this is a home theater kind of a speaker so this doesn't have an inbuilt battery to it and you cannot carry the speaker anywhere with you you get a traditional plug inside the speaker like you see over here you just have to plug it then the speaker comes on so as you have seen that you get a remote also inside the box most of the controls of the speaker are inside this remote this remote is the most important thing for this speaker because you can control bass you can control the volume definitely you can control the volume you can control the volume from there also that knob but still you can control the volume from here you can control the volume from treble you can change modes also as you can see over here they are very much properly labeled so you don't have any confusion about what this button does what that button does everything is properly labeled this is the mute button the power on off button you can change equalizer modes also there i think five to six modes which i'm going to show you in the sound test in a moment from these buttons you can change those stuff you can change the fm channels from these buttons select any kind of channel you know so you can control most of the stuff of this speaker through this remote so this is a very useful remote in my opinion if this remote breaks half of the stuff like the equalizer you can con you cannot control the bass treble from the speaker because there are no controls at all over here i've checked it all you have to use the remote to control those stuff you can change modes definitely from this button but other than that nothing if you have to use the remote for that thing and when we talk about the button layout on the speaker button layout wise these buttons are not that satisfying like the fit and finish on these buttons are not that good they are very tactile to click like if you click on it you have that click sound but if you see they have a movement like you can see over here let me just focus onto it yeah you can see they have a movement like they're rattling inside that shell which doesn't sound that good like when the bass is high they doesn't sound like they're rattling but when you're clicking onto it it feels very cheap but still for the price point you are getting this speaker it's superb it gets the job done so it's okay for my opinion but some of my viewers will not like it because the quality is not that good on these buttons but this rotary knob feels very high quality you have that proper feel to it you are changing volumes so now friends as i've said you everything of the speaker let me tell you the power output also as you have read on the box it's written about 4200 watt pmpo but actually this woofer 
has an output of 22 watts and both of these speakers have an output of 10 watt like this is a 10 watt that is a 10 watt so makes about 42 watts so the total output of these speakers is 42 watt so friends now we are going to move to the sound test of these speakers my friends i have connected the speaker via bluetooth to my nexus 6b and as you can see the name of the song is yala and the volume from my nexus 6b is full as always and the volume of the device is let's keep it 20 the full volume is still 30 so 20 is okay so now play the song now we come to a conclusion that the sound from this speaker is very loud like it's super loud for a 44 watt speaker like as i've read it's written on the box it's very loud i think you should not buy the portable speaker most of my viewers who are buying the portable speakers and are not carrying it anywhere with you buy this speaker don't buy that speaker because the sheer quality and the bass on this speaker and the different customizations on offer like the equalizer the bass the treble you can customize all this stuff on this speaker this speaker is a true bass header speaker like the bass header will just buy this speaker right now which is linked in the description below do check them out this speaker is a very loud and a mad bassy speaker yo the sound is very clear the bass is super thumpy like you can feel the bass from far away also and this is a very good sounding speaker it's very loud let me give you a ratio of about if there is a party of 50 to 60 people in your house this speaker will be just perfect for that kind of situation because that the speaker is that loud yeah it's very loud the bass is super good it's very thumping you get lots of connectivity options the build quality is probably the best in the market right now if you consider the price so friends if you want to buy this speaker the links are in the description do check them out and friends buy the speaker from the links in the description not from anywhere else because it helps the channel a lot so friends thank you for watching this is it for now this is the unboxing and review of the choreo 2.1 multimedia system thank you for watching friends